Some brackets, s'il vous plaît, mon bébé. Kiki Touré, Pestache. You love me, I love you, baby. You love me, my baby. You love me, I love you, baby. You love me, my baby. Nana, oh, Nana, oh, Nana, oh. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys the basic tool that I will use for this tutorial. All these are the French curls that I ordered from AliExpress. All these, they are 13 in number, plus this ripper, my grafting pepper. But the basic French curl that I'll be using is this four. My ruler, my hip hop, my uh, armhole, and this uh, draft ruler. And also my pin. I use this pin for my uh, fabric and also for my drafting paper. This is my pencil. This is my pen and also this is my measuring bag. So guys, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. Like, share and comment. And also let me know what you guys basically need. In your drafting or in anything that you want to do in fashion line okay guys let's get started we some brackets see who play my baby kiki to ray pestache you love me i love you baby you love me my baby Okay guys, I have drawn my starting point, also known as my uh, shoulder line. So the next thing that we are going to do, I have measured, I have measured 9.88. It's supposed to be here, and uh, my sewing allowance plus two inches, and the SS. So guys, I think we have to get started. So. I'll have to measure the length of my chest, my bust, and my under bust. So from here, nine. I have to mark nine here. Nine is the standard for your chest line, and I'm going to mark my bust measurement. My nipple is a. Uh, My nipple length is 11 and my under bust is 14. So guys, I have to move this line out. Guys, I hope you guys are seeing this. I just hope. Guys, and if you are, if you are doing anything, you have to label it. This is my chest line. I have to remove this pin because it's obstructing what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. My bust and my underbrush. My chest line, my bust and my underbrush. Sorry. So guys, from uh, okay, I have a trick for you guys. If you want to measure your shoulder to shoulder line, all you have to do is uh, um, your total bust minus your chest line, your your round shoulder minus your chest line, which has to be seen. Okay, let me just say your chest line divided by four will give you your round your round shoulder and. I got my my round shoulder is uh, 28, 28 divided by uh, is 14, that's the half, so 14 divided is 7, plus my sewing allowance, this is 7, okay sorry, this is 7, plus my sewing allowance, I have, I like having my sewing allowance like um, half inch for the shoulder line, so I have to draw. half inch 
yeah so my bust my under bust is uh okay my bust line is 9.25 so from here 9.25 9 point here is 9 here is 9.25 here is 9.5 and here is 9.75 so here is 9.25 9.25 i like giving my sewing allowance two inches so here is this two inches sewing allowance then my under bust is uh, the measurement is 7.38 so from here 7.38 uh after 7.25 then two inch sewing allowance for my under bust which is here yeah so guys this is it then my neckline i like going by uh, 4.4 4 by 4 so here is 4 here is 4 and here is 4 so Here is four, and here is four. Then, guys, remember your shoulder slope that is one inch. And I have to bring this down here. Sorry, I have to bring this down here, guys. If you are doing this, remember to. To add your your sewing your your sewing allowance on the shoulder don't ever make the mistake of not adding your sewing allowance and always make sure that your sewing allowance is half an inch like mine is half an inch yeah my mine is half an inch so i have to draw this straight line up i have to draw it up yeah so guys i'm my uh depending on the neck that you want to do this is the normal threading neck like round neck so i have to well, i like my round neck to be kind of deep yeah guys so if you can see this is the round neck this is the round neck this is my shoulder slope then uh guys for that i don't like okay that is for the front line is uh is 12 so i have to start here okay from here is four yeah then i have to add half inch half inch <laughs> that's my trick half inch half inch then uh, from here to here the front one is 12 that's my that where my dad to start and my from 12 guys i don't like my my dad to be all that long i don't like it to you know stop stop somewhere like uh Stop somewhere like 20 or 22. I like my own to stop at 20. I don't know, but I like my own. I don't like my own to be like all that long. I like my own to stop at, uh, I think, 18. I like my own stop at 18. Biko. So, guys, from this is my uh, waistline, my waist. From shoulder to waist is 18. So this is my waist. Then this is my hip. My hip is 24. So I have to measure out. My waist is 7.5. Plus 2 inch sewing allowance. And my hip is uh, 
my heat is uh, 9.88 and so in allowance of 3 inches so guys for the front neck for the front shoulder uh, for the front shoulder or be from the front hole arm hole yeah i like going in by half an inch for the front where is my yeah exactly This is the front, then uh, this is the back. Guys, remember that, remember your sewing allowance. This line has to touch your sewing allowance. Oh. And this is it. This is the front armhole and this is the back. So guys, okay, in my uh, my dad, this is the middle part. So from here to nine, this is nine. So guys, from this, okay, from here to here, I have this is uh, like okay. I have to divide this into two to know the middle part of what I'm doing. So from here, okay, from here to here is 12, yeah. Then yeah, from here to here is 18. That's uh, from here to here is like 6. So the middle is uh, 3. So guys. Guys, I like using one and a half for my dart. So, now one and a half. Then I have to connect from here to here. And from here to here. Then from here to here. And from here to here. So guys, I hope you guys can see this. Then after my that, guys, remember that I subtracted one and a half inch from here. So I'm going to add this one and a half inch here. So I'm going to add the one and a half inch. Or oh, let me just say, I'm going to add one inch here. Here. Yeah in case if i bring this in during my sewing then i have to have extra one that i subtracted from here so yeah, so guys let's do the joining yo 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 first of all i like to connect my hip line guys see do you see what i'm saying if okay let me use ruler even if i use the ruler see do you see the extra one inch that i that i put here if i use this curve okay if i use this curve it's going to match but i'll just have to leave it and give it just a little curve Maybe it will bring like one, like half inch. Yeah. Yeah, like half inch. So, guys. This is it.
guys this is my basic body pattern bodies and i'll use these for my customer the only thing that i have to do in this thing like if i have a customer that her body is bigger than mine all i have to do is add extra inches to this well guys for the front for the back line it depends so all depend on what as it depends on what you want to do like if you want it to go up like i want my own i like my own to go down by one inch so guys if it's if, if it we have a seat so i would like i like my own to go down by by half by one inch so now one inch And guys remember you have to cut the back before you start cutting the front you have to cut the back of the neck before the back of the neck the back of the armhole before cutting the front so but if it is a uh, remember if it is a uh, a gown or a top that ha that will have a uh, zip guys remember to add your one inch sewing allowance at the back you have to as an add extra one inch before placing your back fabric so guys after this whole dust i will have to cut my pattern now and if you want your this thing to be a long gown you know after this hip curl then you have to add your extra length so guys i like using this there to trace out what I'm going to cut and it, it makes your cutting so easy it makes cutting so easy like so 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 easy Guys, remember, 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 if you are trimming, remember that you have to trim the back and not the front. Yep. Remember to trim the back and not the front. guys this pattern drafting is the best and you can use it also on anybody if that person is bigger than yours all you have to do is add that person's measurements and place guys guys if you like you can see it but to make sure that this this as in this your the, the drafting that you did is in the right place instead of you using hand i suggest that you use your pepper scissors and do your stuff guys remember to pin your this thing remember to pin your pepper Remember to pin your paper so to avoid it from shaking. Guys, I just think that this uh, made this cutting to be Cutting to be more easier for me.
so guys this is what I drafted out see my neckline my front neckline this is the back neckline my armhole you I cut out the back armhole and not the front and uh, this is exactly how your pattern drawing or your pattern drafting will be like as in the whole front part and you can also use it as a back as a back pattern drafting as a back pattern drafting also this is okay for this that all you have to do for the that is to trace out or use your pin to pin it on the fabric to know exactly where to place your dart on the fabric so guys i have a, i have a client cloth like up to three that i'm going to use this pattern draft this is exactly my body size i i we don't have exactly the body size but i will use this pattern draft scene that i this pattern this paper that i drafted i'll use this on her fabric and also show you guys how you how you are going to use your drafted paper on any body size of your choice so guys and uh, drop your comments in the comment box below so let me know exactly what as in what you need in this fashion line well guys um you know this line this fashion line is not all that easy but with determination i know that you guys will conquer everything that will come your way so guys i think i'll see you guys in the next video for corrections guys i'm not perfect i'm not a perfect fashionista i'm not a perfect designer but if there's any correction that you guys have to give to me please feel free to drop it in the comment box below I will so much so much appreciate and I promise I will reply as fast that I can to any of your questions, to any of your suggestions and everything. And if you guys, if any of you live in Nigeria or precisely in a particular, you know, feel free, I know, I would like to do a kind of collaboration so that, you know, if as an you guys can have the privilege to talk to your friends as and tell them what you want to tell them you know give them your own inspiration and everything so guys please endeavor to have this endeavor to have these rulers these french pops you know as in you can use this master french cup for anything for any papers i so i so much love this as in this is the first french ruler i ever have and I gave it to my sister when I have to order a fresh one. Guys, this thing, this friend, this master friend's cup is the ultimate. Even if you don't have any of this, have this one. If you have a button holder, a armhole, hip, a ruler, and everything that you ever need in French, because this is called master French cup pattern drafting. Well, you guys, feel free, like, thumbs up, subscribe, share this video if you like, and also don't forget to make or to know me. No, sorry, you go. It was not uh, sorry. English is not my mother's tongue. Feel free to let me know what you guys want, and the next video to come. Well, I love you guys and I so 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 love you. Thank you so much for the inspiration and everything. I so much, honestly, I so much so much appreciate, you know. Thank you guys so much and uh, see you in our next video. Bye.